Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but but you are becoming hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine, keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey William, come in please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes, it makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. A string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too, and sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh Uh-huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. Hello? Are you there, Cloudpunk woman? The lockdown is active. Glad I could help. What's going to happen to the people in quarantine? Oh, I will be sure to get them help. I am not sure that is true. It is true, little dog. And I have transferred payment. So our transaction is complete. Goodbye. Did we do the right thing? We did something. Driver 14FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is, but don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? 
Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the Spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloud Punk, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. I'm here to pick up the heart. Now, go. Every second counts. Well done, 14FC. Payment has already come through. 
You've made someone very happy. Be still, my beating heart. If I could, I'd roll my eyes. Gage says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's, maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Remember me? Sure I do. You tried to catch old Joe. You're from Skypunk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Listen, my Hava has a fault. Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have a look then. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. This has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, but I ain't the priciest neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. 
Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe's debt. Thank you. All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. And it's done. What, seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? Oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Inner City Derby. That's great. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. He was in a real bad crash in Midtown. Cora only knows what happened to that road junction. It let them all straight into the sea. He's dead? He went out doing what he loves, kid. Don't feel bad for him. He wouldn't want that. We have another incoming message request. From? It's routed through CloudPump, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Chemist. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. I'm glad you accepted the call. And I'm glad you brought me back to my darling husband. You're welcome. Did you need something? Not at all, dear. We just wanted to express our thanks personally. The thing is, you know, I know I can be a bit of a snob. Um... No, no, it's true, dear. But you didn't need to choose me. You could have saved several of those other poor souls. But you brought my love back to me. It's fine. It wasn't a big deal. Well, we just wanted to let you know if there's ever anything we can do for you. My apartment is too small for everyone living in it now. You could give me yours. Oh, yes. That's brilliant. So witty. But in all seriousness, if there is ever anything we can do for you, please let us know. You can call us on any Thursday afternoon next month, as long as it's before 3. And just make sure to message the day before to let us know. We'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. Definitely. The HOVA alert subsystem, he seems very angry. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory that you... No, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? Ronnie, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another Cloud Punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick them up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. 